was it. That was the one. This is definitely going to be That's the it. one. Oh, I know it's it. Dude, it's been a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back to Hometown TCG. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh. And I'm John. And we missed you guys. We are in a post-Monarch release world, and we want to talk about if you're a fab player, if you want to be a fab player, if your goal is to become a fab player, what do you do? Yeah, there's been so much anticipation. Oh. It's been months and months for people uh, and trying to figure out, oh, where am I going to get these boxes? Trying to call up your store. You don't know if you're going to get them or not. What's the allocation? Like, am I going to be able to get product? You finally got it, hopefully. You you opened, opened it, it, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so what do you do? Uh, I think we got a couple first places to start. And the, the first place, I think, is it doesn't hinge on whether you open it or not. I would say if you've got the product and you've got a couple friends, Play sealed at your house. Play draft at your house. Get a couple friends together. Mm -hmm. Play some sealed. Play some draft. It's great to have everyone in an equal playing field. And it's good experience. We, we played with cards we probably would have overlooked completely. Yeah. I mean, you just... There's some really amazing things that happen in sealed. And <sighs> you get such an interesting look at Two things. It's pitch. so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. And also, play random heroes, right? Mm -hmm. So not even just sealed. Maybe roll a dice, assign everyone. Everyone gets a hero. High roll, picks first or something. Yeah. Everyone gets a hero, and I, everyone's got to play a different hero out right. of your stuff. You can, you can build the decks out of there. There's the Blitz decks now, too. Blitz decks, great it's, point. It's great because you have this opportunity to kind of start fresh. Yes. You know, maybe if you got into the game recently, you didn't know all the characters well, it feels like you had to play catch up. Like, this is your time. This is your time to start fresh with everyone on even playing field. Absolutely. So, so get people get together. Get that experience in. Play the game. And all of that leads up to this, what we would call this rated play season that's, that's kind mm -hmm. of coming upon us right now, right? And what do we mean when we say rated play season? So those would be official tournaments that uh, earn you experience. Right. So... The weekly event would be called the Armory. Now, the and the Armory is a great place, especially if you're transitioning to one of those two categories we talked about. Maybe you're a newer Fab player or you want to become a Fab player. Mm -hmm. An Armory is a great place to get kind of outside your kitchen table, outside of your normal play group, and play some people that might show you some things you wouldn't have seen otherwise. Right, and there were a lot of people that we met at the pre-release events that it was their first time playing. Yeah, oh, And tons. the pre-release events were great because it was this kind of welcoming atmosphere where people could come in and learn, right. and you'll get similar things in Armory. Like, there there are prizes for winning, but there are prizes uh, just for attending. You get the promos. Yes, the, uh, for being good members of the community, yeah. right? For Maybe for bringing new people. Every, Armory does it a little differently, mm -hmm. but it's not super focused on that, that hardcore, nose-to-the-grindstone competitive edge, right? Yeah, so if you, if you have only had the pre-release experience or no experience, it'd be great to find a store, go in there, see when they have their Armory is, and just, just go there and learn. Absolutely. Like, and if you're an existing member of the FAB community, if you were to make it to one of our mm -hmm. Armory events, if you go to another Armory event with more experienced players, help these players out, right? The more our game and community grows, the better off we mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Because there's a space for players like us, a little more competitive space, and that's going to be your skirmish events mm -hmm. that we're finding out. Our LGSs are inviting us to... We've gotten a lot of notice about these skirmish events. They're going to be far and yeah. wide, right? There, There's going to be more of them than they were in quarter one. Yes. Uh, there are four that we know of so far near I, us. Al and already. Yeah, so there may be more popping up. Right. So these ones are kind of the next level above an armory. Yes. It's still a semi-local event, I'd say. True. Not a uh, lot of travel for them. Maybe it, from a couple hours away right. or something. You earn experience from them, and you earn twice as much experience from one as you would yes. as an armory. And the prizes are a little bit better. Yes, the prizes are a little bit better, and those prizes are very focused on tournament performance, right? There's not going to be as many, you know, just for showing up or being positive mm -hmm. members of the community. But still, we encourage people, this is not the end-all be-all, right? Mm -hmm. The community, your play group, the people around you, that's what's going to keep, you know, flesh and blood going. That's what's going to keep your events going at a good clip. So even at those events, be a positive member of the community yeah. and enjoy yourself, but bring your better deck to those ones. For sure. <laughs> but it even goes above that, and this is something we just got a chance to talk about today, mm -hmm. and that's the uh, the callings, right? There's one in, I, I don't know if there's a United States one planned yet that we know, but there's one planned in Auckland and Melbourne, and that's Australia and New Zealand, I believe, right. respectively. So those, those places have kind of less COVID restrictions right now. Yes. They can kind of gather in bigger numbers. True. I assume that the U.S. will have one, and Canada and Europe. I, believe, uh, I would believe so, too. 
they'll they'll have them all once we can get her in bigger numbers. Yes, but those are your definitely you're on the competitive side of things now. These right. these events are structured around being competitive and they're structured around top cutting. Yeah, so these specific ones are going to be sealed format. Okay. Um the first day is going to be a sealed event, but then the second day for the top 32, they compete in a draft. Okay, so the top 32 of that sealed event from day one compete in a day two draft. Right, and the winner, uh, there's cash prizes. There's a there's ten thousand split amongst the top eight. Okay. In addition to the real prize, which is a gold foil tunic for winning, which is another you know ten thousand. That's plus. like an extra ten thousand bonus. <laughs> but this is it's a really <laughs> plus, great it's yeah, a really plus. great opportunity to really cut your teeth against some of the mm -hmm. game's top players, right? This is where you're really getting outside of your comfort zone. Let's say you're a good player at all your local events and you're always reaching the top, you're always winning. It's a place where you can go to really fine tune your skills and and again, maybe get outplayed and learn some things here and there. So I, I'm very excited. I, I think mm -hmm. we've discussed briefly, this is not breaking news, we don't know yet, but we would like to start attending some of these as well. Yeah, so I, I'm excited for that. There's also professional tournament invites from, uh, yes, as I don't know result. if it's winning or topping at these. Sure. But that um, invites you to the which, pro tour. Which kind of leads us to our next thing, which is nationals and road to nationals. Right. So there, yes. So the next level above that, I believe, is invite only? Well, the road the road to nationals, uh, I don't think are invite. Okay. It's, but, but nationals the, itself. Yeah. Okay. So those ones, like last year, were sealed events. Okay. And if you made it to the top eight, then you could get the invite to qualify for so, uh, nationals itself. So lots of sealed events. So playing sealed around the kitchen table with your buddies, not sounding like such a bad idea now, is not it? Not at all. So lots so, of sealed events, road to nationals, getting you an invite to this national tournament. Again, I believe there's what gold foil tunics at the end of yeah, those. Those gold foils are gold expensive, foils are man. expensive there, and they're nice cards. That they're so pretty, but that's going to lead to nationals, and then past nationals, we we have some speculation. So yeah, assuming that there will be more nationals, <laughs> hometown other, TCG like outside foil, of New Zealand yeah. or Malaysia. Yes, uh, we we assume that like top eight at nationals would get you an invite to worlds. So yeah, so we believe there will be a worlds event, which will be you know all the different national winners inviting, getting invited to this world tournament. Uh, very Dragon Ball Z esque. I think it's yeah. going to be a blast. That that's a dream for us. I mean, we're nowhere yeah. near there yet. Dude, but what's going to be a prize for that? Like a gold foil heart? Oh, I don't even <laughs> Could you think imagine? about it. Okay, so. These are all great opportunities, but remember, don't get overwhelmed by this. We're talking about nationals, we're talking about worlds. We, you know, maybe we're talking about you know the calling and skirmish. And that's kind of above your comfort zone. Get out to those armories, guys. Start around your kitchen table. Start with your friends and get to these events. Get that first match out of the way, right? The first match where you're bringing your own deck. Get that first win mm -hmm. out of the way. Get those experience points and get comfortable and push yourselves. I'm excited. Try playing some new heroes. Right? You don't need to always play the old stuff. Try some new stuff. Yeah, man. Uh, get after it. Uh, play all the different um, formats because all of them are being used in these uh, these competitive events. And uh, it's just good to have experience with all of them. Absolutely. So we want to ask you guys in the future, if you go to an event, in the comments below, let us know your results. If you're new here, remember to click the sub button. We appreciate all you guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. My name is Josh. I'm John. And we'll see you around.